What you need to do is talk to your fellow man and sit here and address uncomfortable conversations right. amongst each other. Right, but then you don't even you don't even have to go outside of your fair. group. Right. When these com when comments come up, be able to challenge their thinking. Be able to say, hey, you know, I really don't, I don't really vibe with that. Or why do you say that? Be able to go down to the core. Right. We need other people to sit here and have the uncomfortable conversations. As a black man, as a black woman, the joy is, our reality is being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. We've learned how to live in, in discomfort. Mm -hmm. It's a natural disposition for us. Mm -hmm. And some of you guys are like, oh shit, really? Like what? Yes. Hello, newsflash. <laughs> That's what it is. We're not making excuses for it. I'm not asking for your sympathy. I'm just no. telling you a reality that is. Yeah. We know what, what the uncomfortable feels like. We have to live with it. As soon as you are born on this earth, you have to deal with it. Just like some are afforded a privilege, we're not afforded a privilege. Yeah. We're afforded and, and, the and, burden and, of being and, different. And we're willing to go in those uncomfortable places and have these uncomfortable conversations. Yeah. We need you to have those uncomfortable conversations too. So don't say after you know, 24 hours after the election to get over it. Right. When just two weeks ago, we're saying nothing but divisive language. Mm -hmm. We can't just say, let it go. It just doesn't happen that easy because your feelings are, are, are right there on your shoulders and it's uncomfortable. Right. Welcome. This is what happens. And I want to say too, the result of having uncomfortable conversations is that they don't feel, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good during the conversation and often you do not feel good after. It actually kind of leaves an icky feeling. <laughs> And that's okay too. You don't need to feel triumphant and you know, sit in the uncomfortable. Be willing to go there. And I promise you that you will experience growth from it. And again, growth is uncomfortable. Growth hurts, but it's worth it in the end. I just remember when I went back to work on Thursday, I was talking to one of my colleagues and he was giving his opinion on what he thought of of the Trump presidency and he said, Hey, it could it could be a good thing or something different, someone who's not a politician, you know, someone who would like to come in there and, and shake things up, and and he had made the comment, and it was, and he said, I just couldn't see Hillary in the office, and there we go raising taxes, and I stopped him and I said, it must be nice to be able to only think about your money. I said, as a black man, I'm not afforded that privilege. No. Yes, I want I want my pockets taken care of, just like everybody else. Whether you're a Democrat or you're a Republican, you want your pockets taken care of. That's, that's how right. we that's how we live. That's how we survive. That's how we right. can take care of our family and friends. So of course we want our, our our pockets taken care of. But I said, as a black man, I don't have the luxury to just worry about my pockets because right. I have been exposed and I have seen things and I've lived through through different experiences that forces me to consider the feelings and thoughts of other people who do not look like me. 